Welcome to this edition of Investment Insights. Today, I have Patty and Leah with us from Mercer's Investments team. Welcome. Thanks, Tatiana. Thanks, Tatiana. 2022 was another unpredictable year for investors and the markets, filled with many significant events globally and locally. What were some of the highlights of the final quarter of 2022? That's right, Tatiana. It was a very challenging year for investment markets, but one highlight was positive performance over the final quarter, which came off the back of signs that offshore inflation pressures were easing. Riskier assets like equities and high yield bonds rallied as these signs implied central banks may not raise interest rates as high as originally thought. If you recall, interest rates, or rising interest rates, had hurt asset performance throughout 2022. This relief was short-lived though, as central banks did continue to raise rates late in the quarter. So the Reserve Bank of New Zealand raised interest rates by 75 basis points, or 0.75%, and the US Federal Reserve raised interest rates by 50 basis points. So these late quarter declines weren't enough to completely dampen performance though. So global equities returned 10.7% for the quarter, listed property returned 7.4%, and listed infrastructure returned 7.6%. We have seen inflation and interest rate rises over the last 12 months. How has this impacted New Zealanders? Interest rates and inflation have impacted almost all areas of life for Kiwis. From increases in the cost of living, which has increased 8.2% for the average Kiwi household, through to interest payments on mortgages, which have increased 45% for the average Kiwi household. We've also seen large declines in KiwiSaver balances, as traditional risk-off assets like bonds didn't provide the same protection they normally would because the drivers and markets have been so unique. While Kiwis may find this alarming, there's one key message that all investment professionals live by. It's not about timing the market, but about time in the market. If you have any questions about your retirement fund or the investment option that you're in, please speak to a financial advisor. As we move into 2023, what are some of the themes we can expect to see in the markets? 2022 was a very tough and volatile year for markets and we expect this volatility to persist into 2023. The need for central banks to respond to high levels of inflation by hiking interest rates was a major driver of the poor returns we saw in 2022. Inflation now looks to have peaked, or be close to its peak, in a number of markets globally, and financial markets will be looking for signs that central banks will pause raising interest rates or begin to cut rates. Much of the strong market rally that we have seen in recent months is a result of markets trying to anticipate the end of the current interest rate cycle. Expect markets to remain volatile and prepare for market falls if inflation proves to be persistent. High interest rates and inflation are affecting household and business spending, which should lead to economic slowdown and possible recession in New Zealand and a number of other economies globally. Given the very high level of employment we are currently seeing, any recession is forecast to be mild. Another theme driving markets in 2022 has been geopolitics, and in particular, Russia's invasion of Ukraine and resulting sanctions, which led to significantly higher energy prices. 2023 has started off with further geopolitical tension between the USA and China, and markets will be watching developments closely. How are our portfolios positioned to benefit from these themes? Mercer builds highly diversified portfolios for our investors. We ensure that your investments benefit from a broad range of economic conditions and are not overly exposed to a particular industry or geographical region. We invest in a wide range of asset classes, from equities and bonds through to unlisted infrastructure and unlisted property. Mercer has been incorporating ESG factors into our portfolios for more than a decade, and we are focused on meeting local and international reporting requirements. We will be updating our scenario analysis and issuing our third climate change management report in 2023.